Binge the full week of The Ray Taylor Show ad-free over at InspiredDisorder.com slash plus. This is The Ray Taylor Show. Swipe up 167. This is the show where I share my opinions on current events. Uh, let's get it started, shall we, with this first one. Some bad news. Some bad news. Not horrible news. I mean, there's... As far as news goes, there's a lot worse news than this piece of news, which is about John Wick 4. Uh, obviously, we just got uh, Matrix 4 just came out. The Matrix Resurrections are reviewed it on Monday. I kind of enjoyed it. Liked it watching the second time around more than the first time around. Uh, but was also super excited for John Wick 4, which was supposed to be released... I think around the same time as Matrix Res Resurrections, if I'm not mistaken. Now, the pandemic has changed a lot of things and whatnot, but uh, because of that, they're pushing back the Matrix 4 to 2023. So, a whole year plus of, of waiting for the, the next installment of the John Wick franchise, which I am also a huge fan of. Uh, maybe more so than the Matrix, only because it it may it actually improves its its action scenes throughout the franchise. Like they they kind of ramp up, which is which is pretty great. Um, I don't think any of them reach the levels of epicness that the first Matrix does, but I think as a more cohesive uh, franchise of action, uh, I think it, it's it gets a little bit better each time. The story is interesting. They reveal a little bit more about this world. Uh, but it is a bummer that uh, John Wick 4 has been pushed back once more. Um, so it's, uh, let's see, in a new video Wednesday, Lionsgate announced the sequel will now premiere in theaters March 24th, 2023, uh, where it was originally uh, May 21st, 2021 which would have been earlier this year, uh, and then it was supposed to be May 27th of 2022, which I was about to start uh, doing or getting ready to, planning on doing uh, reviews of the John Wick movies leading up to 4, but that's not happening, so I'll probably just do those anyway and then just do a separate review when it comes out. But John Wick 4, kind of a bummer. Uh, it would be nice. I mean, Lionsgate, I don't know if they're affiliated with Warner Brothers or I don't know where their movies go when they, uh, get released on streaming, but it would be nice if like Netflix or somebody threw down a giant chunk of change to, uh, to get that movie. But s since Spider-Man made so much money, this, which I haven't seen, but it's apparently it's made a ton of money, uh, like, I guess the theaters, people going to watch Spider-Man don't care about the virus anymore. Or, I don't know, it just seems like most people are, are pretty, they don't really care. Let's move on, though. The Many Faces is an ongoing abstract ink portrait series that I started many years ago. I release new face every day. But go to InspiredDisorder.com to check them out so many available but as a listener to the ray taylor show you can save 10 percent when you use coupon code inspired when you check out so go to inspireddisorder.com slash tmf that stands for the many faces go check them out browse the entire collection and when you decide on a piece or maybe multiple pieces make sure you use coupon code inspired when you check out and you'll save 10 percent as a big thank you for checking out my work, for collecting my work, and for listening to The Ray Taylor Show. And with that said, let's get back to the show. Let's move on. Uh, a COVID-denying kickboxing world champion just died from COVID. A three-time world champion kickboxer died in his home in Belgium uh, from complications caused by COVID-19 weeks after dis. Uh, discharging himself from the hospital. Uh, Fred Sinistra, 40 years old, was unvaccinated and would not even use the term COVID-19. His coach, uh, Usman uh, Yijin, told a Belgium outlet 
Instead of uh, instead, he dismissed COVID-19 as a quote unquote little virus uh, and railed against government restrictions. Uh, so it sounds like he's a big fan of the Joe Rogan experience. Probably called up Joe, see if he has any on it products that can help boost his natural immune system. Uh, even though Joe himself didn't rely on his immune system f- when he got COVID, he threw the kitchen sink at it. Pretty much did everything but get vaccinated for Joe Rogan. Um, so he didn't even rely. Like all these people, like you can't say you rely on your immune system and then go buy over the counter medication. Like that's still science. Like science made those just the way they made the the vaccine it's just ridiculous it's it's like such a weird line to draw in in the the desire to use modern medicine it's like i you know if i have a headache i'll use ibuprofen but i'm not gonna go i'm not gonna use the stuff that can prevent headaches anyway uh i'm sure there's a lot of uh combat sports like it's just kind of the mentality of those people one you don't have to be educated to be a professional fighter you just have to train in fighting for a long time probably be have some athletic abilities but it just takes a lot of dedication a lot of work a lot of time to be good uh, martial artist uh, but you don't need any degrees uh, and then you have somebody within that world of combat sports like joe rogan who uh you know he He's able to convince he has a lot of uh, sheep that follow him and uh, you t- take his medical advice. For some reason, they'll take a professional comedian's advice about medicine uh, instead of actual doctors who studied viruses their entire life. It's as if this mixed martial artist to train for a fight went to somebody who's only watched action movies. They've never actually competed. They never actually trained. They don't actually know different martial arts, but they've watched a lot of action movies. So let's take their advice. It's ridiculous. Like, there's just no respect. Like, if that was like a scientist going into mixed martial arts and they're like, oh, I watched a bunch of action movies. I want to fight. Like, every single fighter would laugh that person out of the gym. Because it wouldn't even be, it's not even, you're not even on the same level. Yet people are taking Joe Rogan's medical advice over people who have actually studied medicine. And not like these, these fringe doctors that, you know, barely pass their medical exams that, that are getting paid to, to you know, they, they want to get popularity. So they, they, these fringe lords, these edge lords of medicine. It's like there's people that study viruses their entire life, and they're like, you're ridiculous if you don't get a a vaccine. You're just ridiculous. Which, you know, a lot of those people are dying. And I didn't know that fighter. I'm not familiar with his name or anything like that. He's an older fighter, obviously. Probably, maybe, maybe not in the best health. Four years old. Probably taking a lot of damage. I'm sure, like, cardiovascularly like there's you know there's probably in decent shape still if not great shape he you know still be training anyway i don't know rest in peace you and and all the people that are filling up hospitals again uh let's move on to some good news uh a restaurant in denham springs has a well uh has a wall with prepaid tickets for people that are hungry but can't afford food are homeless are, can't afford food, are homeless, etc. They just grab a ticket with a meal they would like, uh, which a previous customer previous customer paid for uh, in Louisiana. This is awesome. Like, just as an idea, it's basically like getting gift cards for anonymous people, except for they're buying meals. That's great. That's such a great, that needs to happen more. Businesses, especially like smaller businesses, you know, because obviously corporate giant corporations are never going to do anything like this. Never, 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 never. They don't they don't really don't want to help anybody. They barely want to pay their own employees. They're not even going to step away. Maybe they'll give some corporate donation to some thing for PR purposes, but they're not going to do anything unless they legally have to do it. 
so smaller businesses like this uh, should do it. What does it? What does the sign say? If you're hungry, or or know someone that is hungry and has no money, these tickets have been paid in advance. Grab a ticket and eat. I don't know what the small signs are. Oh, it's got a Bible verse. Which, yeah, I mean, if Christians were actually following the Bible and following Jesus, uh, they wouldn't be Republicans. <laughs> like, there's no, there's absolutely no connection between those two aside from this false worship, which clearly they worship guns more than Jesus. Uh, but yeah, that's great. Great news there. Join Inspired Disorder Plus today. Head on over to inspireddisorder.com slash plus to join. Membership includes members-only discounts and deals. You get access to the Ray Taylor Show completely ad-free, as well as bonus episodes. You get access to the complete live painting archive. You also get access to every single podcast ever produced by Inspired Disorder, hosted by Ray Taylor. You get access to Ray Taylor's personal blog as well as the opportunity to ask me any questions so if you want to start a podcast you're into art ask me anything and so many more things are being added every day to inspire disorder plus so sign up today become a member head on over to inspire disorder.com slash plus and become an inspire disorder plus member today uh, and last but not least, here are the most powerful photos of 2021. Obviously, if you're listening to this episode, you're not going to see these photos. Uh, but, uh, you know, I'll describe them. It's a woman standing in front of her house that's while the a fire is raging behind them. I don't know if that's in the U.S. That could be California. That could also be Greece. Uh, like Spain, I think, was on. There's a lot been a lot of fires everywhere in the in the world. Uh uh, this mo- this picture from the tornadoes that ripped through, was that Kentucky? Or Indiana? Where was the tornado? I'm sorry, I don't know those states. But, what you know, w- the big tornado that ripped through, it's uh, from inside a movie theater. And the screen of the movie theater is not there anymore. And you see outside into the rubble. Kind of a crazy shot. that the One, that it took out the screen, but then... You know, it's a, it's a, I don't know, it's obviously a great shot. Uh, this one, a golf course just outside Glen Canyon Dam in Lake Powell, Arizona. Uh, the reservoir is at a historic low and cuts in water usage are mandated for 2022 uh, to address the ongoing drought. And of course, uh, the gr- super green golf courses are being watered. Same thing with out in Palm Springs. I think there's the most golf courses per capita in Palm Springs. Uh, and they are all nice and shiny and green. All you know, all the the water restrictions and stuff apparently don't apply to golf courses. Uh, people who pay large amounts of money to hit a small white ball around uh, get the privilege of green grass, uh, while everybody else has to uh, ration. Uh, and then, of course, the January sixth uh, tourist trap that was the capital of the uh trump trying to overthrow the government it's crazy that i mean by the time this i mean this a few days away from the anniversary of that event and it's definitely we're seeing a lot of people get uh investigated but there hasn't been any nobody's lost a job yet nobody's in jail aside from a bunch of the the quote-unquote foot soldiers of the event uh, a lot of the the proud boys and oath keepers and and uh, just racist white people that that thought they were privileged enough to get away with a terrorist attack uh, and not go to prison. Those some of those people have gone to prison. Uh, and then last but not least, a visitor sits on a bench that looks at artist Suzanne Brennan's uh, Fisterberg's uh, Brennan's Fisterberg's uh, quote unquote in America remembered. Uh, a temporary art installation that uh, to commemorate Americans who have died of COVID-19 on the National Mall on October 2nd, 2021. And it's the scene of the lawn covered in tiny white flags. And it's just populated with, I mean, at that point, I don't know, it, it was probably like 600,000. I think we're close to 900,000 now. 
uh, deaths of COVID-19. Uh, but yeah, those were the big kind of events of the year. You had, you know, terrorist attacks all over. I mean, obviously there's no Kyle Rettenhouse in that. There's not the, the cop, the, a few of the cops have, you know, are starting to get charged with murder and manslaughter. Uh, so it's like, there's been some justice, but obviously some huge injustices, uh, but it is what it is. That's been the year of 2021, I guess, you know, just it's, at least it's not under a Trump presidency because that would, everything would just be exponentially worse if, if he was still spewing his shit on Twitter and, uh, on all of the news networks constantly. Uh, which they still love to promote them because they, they care about numbers more than news. Uh, but, yeah, let's do some shout-outs and get out of here, shall we? Shout-out to Slash Film. Sla- shout-out to Vice News. Shout-out Good News underscore Movement. And shout-out BuzzFeed News. But most importantly, shout-out to you. New episodes of The Ray Taylor Show come out every single day. Subscribe on YouTube and everywhere our podcasts are found. Binge the full week over at InspiredDisorder.com slash plus. Buy Ray Taylor Show merch over at InspiredDisorder.com and follow the show on Instagram at Ray Taylor Show. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Peace out! Today is the day where you wake up and you realize that everything that you've been dreaming about, everything that you've been wanting, every goal and wish and hope that you've ever had can become real. Dreams can come true. What you manifest in your mind, you can bring to reality.